so this is my first blog I'm going to attempt to blog Hilaris Chronicles this year something new I'm starting for 2017 um, I'm currently out and getting breakfast for us my wife Ariel, she slipped and fell on New Year's. Actually, after New Year's came in, she slipped and fell, and she broke her leg. And I can tell you now that it's a trying time when you have a partner that is disabled that spoils you rotten <laughs> and does a lot, and that partner is no longer able to do those things for you. It's a mental process for your partner, but it's also uh, a lot that you go through because now you're, it's the, the roles are reversed. And I, I don't have a problem with that. I, I really don't have a problem with that. Um, <clears throat> it's been very trying. Um, I'm trying to keep her encouraged. She's a bit a bit dramatic very dramatic as a matter of fact and um yeah i'm trying to keep her from crying i told her we're gonna do some adulting some adulting and, and not cry so we'll see how that works and how that turns out i will check in with you all later um to see how things are going and keep you all abreast of with how things are going the orthopedic doctor it's closed today, so we have to make the appointment tomorrow. And, I, of course, I go back to work tomorrow. I'm a school teacher, so I have to go back to work tomorrow. So we'll see how this all works. She can't walk or anything. It's very difficult for her. All righty. We'll, I will check in with you all in a little bit. Hey, guys. I'm back. I told you I would be back later to let you know how things are going. We ate. I gave her her meds and... She went to sleep. I shortly fell into a slumber after that. So we are having our Hilari discussions. And we were talking about her foot. And she thought that when she fell and couldn't stand up, that it was just a spring. And I'm telling her, no. She thought, tell me what you thought. No, you didn't. No, 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 no. No. She's, she's not telling the whole story. So, I originally thought it was a sprain. And the reason why I thought it was a sprain was because I thought that when you break a bone, they say that you can't walk. And they say that you can't feel your leg. No, I don't know about that can't feel your leg. Well, they say that, you know, you can't walk. You can't walk. You can't move. So, I'm thinking... When she told me to try to get up and walk, I said, oh, <laughs> I tried, and I could move my toes, and I could move my knees, so I thought, mm, it's a bad sprain, <laughs> just really bad, Sam, let's try to get up and go to bed, let's just try, as I'm going to go, maybe he's swelling right now, and then later in the morning, the swelling will go down. Everything will be peachy. She has nerve to say that my leg looked like the size of a of a grapefruit. <laughs> How do you think you're going to be fine when your leg looks like it's the size of a grapefruit? It swole up so big, like in a matter of minutes. <laughs> she said, "I'm exaggerating," and I told her, "Well." If you don't like those terms, then it's swole up to the size of a softball. Which is the same thing. That doesn't make me feel any better. But it's some terms that you can relate to. And there she is. She's still in pain. I know. She still looks beautiful and she has a smile, but she's in pain. I'm in a lot of pain. Like, Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. She's in pain. <laughs> I have. The worst headache. Oh my goodness. The worst headache. I am going to call some reinforcements later this week. <laughs> I'm going to call our husband Brad. 
He's going to have to come over. Somebody's going to have to come over. James is coming to town. James can come over. And Denise and Sean are around. They can come over, too. And Jackie. Jackie can come over, too. A lot of people are around. We've got a lot of people. Yes, we do. But I assure you, once they come over, they're not going to want to come back in (laughs) here. That's not true. (laughs) The death cry is a horrible death cry. It's a sound I never heard before. It has to have come from the pits of hell. That's not true. (laughs) That's not true. She's making me laugh, and it seems like everything is going good. I'm smiling right now, but I'm hurting. (laughs) And I've had a lot of medicine. (laughs) But I'm hurting. I honestly think they gave the wrong person medicine. (laughs) (laughs) Right now. I think I'm going to have to call my doctor and up my anxiety med. <laughs> because this is outweighing it's the limits that of that my bad. anxiety meds. If I'm not that bad, guys. I'm not that bad. I'm just in a lot of pain. Like, a lot. I know it doesn't look like it. It looks like I'm smiling. It's because she's doing this video right now. And I'm not going to show my behind to you guys. So, I'm just smiling for this video. But it hurts so bad i definitely know that i broke my leg i've never had a pain like this before and i i realize now it's not a sprain like like i thought i was gonna be able to drive and, and be just fine Who I, I, real- that? I realize now i'm mistaken severely and it's really broken it's the real deal and i'm not gonna get better in two days no it's tragic Proceed not. I don't know if anybody out there has ever had a broken something. But I just thought, mm, sprain, two days, you know. Grapefruit, it's okay. A little ice, a little something, uh, you know, take care of it. It's not the case, guys. This hurts. I don't know if you've experienced this, but if you haven't, pray to the Lord. You never have to because, ooh, this hurts. Tell them what you're taking. You should know it by heart. I'm taking, I'm taking hydrocodone. Acetaminophen. Thank you. <laughs> Acetaminophen. 5-325 milligrams. Yeah, whatever it How is. How do I know? Because when we left the hospital, we had to go. Oh, my God. My eyes look terrible. That's for me crying. But she ain't been crying. She's lying. <laughs> lying. Lying. We had to call every pharmacy. I mean, from Clayco to Fayetteville to Peachtree City. We Henry Stockbridge. We finally had to go to McDonough. All the way towards the Griffin exit, mind you. We had to go to McDonough to actually get the medicine because no one had hydrocodone in, in stock. Everyone said, oh, how many tablets? 20? We don't have that many. We're going to order it maybe in later this week. I tell you what, I'm so glad <laughs> that we took that drive because this one here, I went out. You all remember me blogging when I went out to breakfast. I came back. She done got the crutches. She's off the bed. She went to the rest. I told her to stay put. I had to go. And not to try any superhero (laughs) things while I was gone. And I said, how did you do it? Because I had to go. Mind you, I had just taken some medicine, so I'm feeling fine. But I turned this this way. No, the other way. Okay. I had to go to, you know, handle some things. So I got up, crutches were against the other wall, and I, you know, hopped and schnoodled around to position myself up against the wall, the other side of the wall. And I leaned over and I got my crutches, and the Lord made a way. He made a way. He made it where I could get my crutches. Thank God for long limbs, because if I didn't have them, I wouldn't be able to get them. This video, they don't need to, they don't need to know all this. Yeah. I don't even know that she said, <laughs> but 
I'll be done if y'all not going through this with me. No, <laughs> I refuse. Ow. I refuse to go through this by myself. Oh Put my the light gosh. on me, honey. You don't have the light on me. Okay, well, look, I'm running out I of refuse medicine. to <laughs> go through this by myself. And see, you know, her medicine is on a six-hour cycle. She claims it runs out about hour four, and she wants to take it. No, 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 no. It does. No, but she she's going to have to suffer the last two hours, mm-hmm. unfortunately. And she's supposed to be getting some work done. And you don't have to show it, but we are. Because they this need video to feel my pain. I don't care. It I, ain't going to be able to post. It's going to be on YouTube. YouTube? Oh, yeah, we're blogging. Oh, my God. It's called Hilari Chronicles. For those of you who tuned in late, this is Hilari Chronicles Day 1. I will be this blogging. This cannot be day one. I will be blogging every day. You all will go through this with me. Okay? No. Right now, we had lots of support from friends that are finding out. Our husband, he found out late. We call him our husband, Brad. He found out late. I'm a little disappointed that he didn't contact us sooner. But I'm sure it was because of New Year's celebrations. And Bobby was home, so I was glad about that. Um... But we've had a lot of support. People reach out to us to to help, and this is what we're about to find out who our friends are because they think that I'm not gonna call you. You know how some people say, "Call me if you need anything." Yes, I need a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Starting with Advil. Oh my gosh. I need Advil. She is okay. Don't don't let her fool you. I am not that crazy. But if you can imagine, it is an interesting process when your partner um, has broken their leg. So just imagine that kind of pain. It, it's it's not a pain to be you know played with. Like it's really really serious when you break your leg. It's a pain so severe. It makes you just think about life. You think about all the things that you've done, all the things you haven't done, all the things that need to get done. I mean, you really, really think about life when you break your leg. Just know. Don't don't go try and do it. Don't go try to break your leg. But just know that if you ever have to experience this, you're going to think about life. That's all I have to say. So, you guys, and there was one last thing I have to tell you. A baby, she's been... You know, really stressed out at work lately. And, you know, things have not been going well. Just really, really stressed or whatever. She's like, oh, God, I need a break. I need a break. I need a break. I need some. They're not giving me any days at rest. I, they're deploying me back to back, back to back, back to back. She's not in the military, but her job deploys you when they send, you know, she's worked some catastrophe team. So she has to go to the different places. And they keep deploying her. She's supposed to have seven days at rest in between deployment. But they, like, send her right back out, right back out, right back out. I was just like, I need a break, God. I need it. Be careful what you ask for. Not only does she have a break, a break. She has a break in her leg. She needs to cut it. And she can't do anything. She has a break from everything. She's laid up for at least two weeks. We're going to go to the orthopedic orthopedic doctor whenever we're able to schedule. We weren't able to schedule the day they're closed because of, you know, I guess they're observing New Year's. <laughs> Get to observe and have fun today. Yeah, it wasn't how I imagined we would spend our New Year. Oh, my gosh. It's okay. How close are you going to get? They're going to see my pores. She's worried about pores. <laughs> and she has a broken leg. My leg hurts. Let's be clear. It hurts really bad. I really want you to cut this thing off so I can really emote. See see what I mean? Can't hurt you. She wants to really emote. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice because you guys are watching, but this mess hurt. Like, come on with this camera. Like, let's go. 